All right, Hallie, thanks. It roared through like a freight train, packing winds of up to 90 miles per hour. And for those directly affected, it did enough damage in just seconds to last a lifetime. It's been six days since the tornado ripped through a Rochester Hills neighborhood. Tonight, the entire community continues to help clean up the mess. 7 Action News reporter Mike Wolfolk has been following this story since the storm hit last week and has an update now on the recovery process. Here in the North Fairview Farm subdivision, one week after that tornado, you can clearly see a lot of progress being made to clean up. We need to pretty well replace everything on the outside and everything on the inside. The assessment from Rory McPherson, days after a tornado hit his home. Six days ago, there were trees that weren't his in the yard and windows blown in by debris. Now, those trees are gone and boards hide much of the window damage on the outside. McPherson took us inside, giving a much better sense of just how devastating this twister was. Whatever came through was a piece, of, again, another piece of the roof across the street. Uh, it, and it hit with such force that it literally just came straight through. It, it knocked the whole piece out, yeah. And upstairs, McPherson says as his windows shattered, glass shards flew everywhere. Furniture, carpeting, walls, almost everything must be replaced. Outside, volunteers work to help other folks in the neighborhood remove trees and other debris. Among those volunteers, Rochester Hills firefighters. We're here to help residents whatever they need, whether it's uh, picking up a, you know, an elderly person who fell in the middle of the night from working at cardiac arrest to putting out a fire. We see this is no different. Chainsaws continue to buzz. Blowers disperse the resulting wood chips. And wheels spin. In some cases, they spin in vain. People are willing to come out and help, but we're coming to a point now where I really need some expertise. To the Neighborhood Association president tells me he is very thankful for all the help they've gotten here from restaurants, businesses, just volunteers in general. What they really need help with now are things like this, huge tree stumps that need to be removed, and they need professional help with that. So anybody who can help, it would be greatly appreciated. We're in Rochester Hills. Mike Wolfolk, 7 Action News.